Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So today's video is about these lens protectors. And trust me, this is the last video I'll be making about these darn things. So despite creating several videos stating how much I hate these things and how much I advise you to not put any money in it, to not invest any money in it whatsoever, I still get messages about whether or not you should put these things on your iPhone. And the answer is no, God, no, God, please, no, no, no. No! You shouldn't put these things on your iPhone, on your lens, on your camera lenses. Reason for that is because these lenses are made out of sapphire. And I know there are some people that ask me, well, I don't care about the, these lenses. I now understand that they are made out of sapphire and that they are scratch resistant. But what about this bump in here? Can I protect it? And the answer is yes, without you having to put these things on it. How can you protect this bump? And I do understand if you want to protect this thing from scratches and all of that. Uh, well, it's very easy to do so. You put just a case around it that protects this area as well. And those cases are available. Here's an example of one of those cases. It's just a regular case that has this protection as well. And if I just demonstrate that for you guys, I just take here my iPhone 12 and I slap this case around it. And there you go. This area is not protected. Those lenses are not protected. But since we know that they are made out of sapphire, you uh, shouldn't worry about them getting scratched. Scratched. So now you can just put your phone on any surface and you don't have to worry about getting those camera lenses scratched because this bump is also equal with the lens. And now those lenses are not touching that surface as well. So let me for the last time demonstrate for you guys why these things are bad. And you might be saying, well, I'm buying mine from Amazon and you might be using those from AliExpress. Well, here's the thing. Those from Amazon are 99% coming out of China. So there's no difference whatsoever between these and those from Amazon. So let me put them real quick on my iPhone and show you why these things are not that good for your phone. Okay, so now I've put these things on my iPhone and stick around till the end of the video because I'll show you two ways or maybe three ways how to remove these things. So now I've put these things on my iPhone and you should not think, well, now those cameras are scratch resistant. There's no way my keys or any other object will scratch those cameras. But here's the thing. First of all, it looks very ugly. Look how much that bump increases. So let me put this phone on the side and you see this is just adding some unnecessary stuff on your iPhone and you don't need it whatsoever. It looks very ugly. The second reason why you shouldn't put these things on your phone because let me take this Rubik's Cube for example and try to make a picture of it. You see that there's a glare around my Rubik's Cube. And maybe that glare is not that visible because I'm filming through my iPhone. But if you look at, the, at this in real time, you definitely will notice a decrease in quality of your pictures. So there's that. You don't need these things. And the best part is that these things are made out of plastic, meaning that within one month or maybe a week or so, those things will get dirty. And that way, the quality of your videos and pictures will be even worse. So just don't invest in those things. If you want to protect this camera area, just buy yourself a case like this one. I'll leave a link in the video description below. That gives me a financial kickback if you want to use that link. Thank you if you don't want to use that link. No hard feelings. But let me go to the most important part, which is how to remove these things. And I've made a video about it in the past. So check that out. But let me demonstrate for you guys how I remove these things from my iPhone. So it's actually very simple, but you need to be careful. Uh, you need to grab this tweezers. I call it a pin set in my previous video. <laughs> I don't know why, because I think here and all we call it a pin set. It's French, but uh, I later came to discover that this thing is called a tweezer. So you grab your tweezer and you very careful. Once again, you just grab that protector, but be very careful guys, because you may slip and that way you can scratch your iPhone. So be, be very careful. Uh, you might even want to put that tweezer underneath that camera lens protector and that way you can just remove these things. See how hard it was to just remove these things from my iPhone. But with this tweezer, you can remove it quite easily. Just be careful. Try to put it 
right underneath that lens protector and grab it from underneath the lens protector that way or just tweeze it out of the lens protector. The second method how you can remove these things is by using is by using a floss. And I've learned this method from my, one of my viewers. So thank you so much for that. What you need to do, just grab a piece of floss. Make sure you go underneath that camera lens protector. And it's a bit harder, but this is the safer way. and remove it that way. So as you saw, I've just put my floss underneath that lens protector and I just used some power to get this floss underneath that lens protector and that way you can move this darn thing. And I should say this floss is even a better method than this tweezer or tweezers or I don't know how to say it. Uh, but because this is a way this way is much safer than using this tweezer because you might slip and that way you can scratch your iPhone and that's something you don't want. So guys, once again, I can't stress this enough. Be very careful when using this one. Um, yeah, just put it on a service and like twist that thing around before you put it out of, out of your phone. Or if you want to go the safe route, just use a floss and that way, just right underneath your camera uh, lens protector, you can just grab it and that way you remove these darn things. Um, there might be some remaining glue. Just try to uh, get a wipe, a wet wipe, something like this. I received this wipe with these things, so you might have them if you've added those things in uh, on your phone, but just grab a wet wipe and it shouldn't be alcohol. Don't put alcohol on your phone, guys, because that way uh, there's a, protect a protecting layer that protects your iPhone and you might be removing that layer as well. So just wipe that residue of a glue out of your cameras. And now your cameras are as good as new. So yeah, that's actually it. I hope you like this video. Um, yeah, if you want to support this channel, subscribe to it. Like this video, it helps me a lot. And that way the algorithm knows that they, they need to show this video to multiple people just that so that multiple people can benefit from it. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment section below. This was the last video about these camera lens protectors. I promise you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.